Colors are very strange. I don't mean the physics of light and how different wavelengths stimulate your optical system in different ways, but instead the actual experience of blueness or greenness or redness, that doesn't actually seem to exist in the physical world. So where does it come from? One of the few clues we have is that these kinds of color experiences can't generally be imagined unless they've been experienced. A person blind from birth has no conception of color and can't imagine it. In this video, you'll partially share that experience by seeing colors that you very likely have never seen before. Colors that can't be produced by light striking objects in the physical world, but only by certain ways of tricking your visual system. We'll warm up by looking at an ordinary after image, something you probably have experienced before. Fix your eyes on the cross in the middle of the red circle and keep your attention there while I time out about 30 seconds for you. You may notice little green halos around the edge of the red disc, but try to ignore those. Just keep your attention focused on the cross in the middle of the circle. What we're doing is saturating your visual system with red light, which temporarily exhausts certain nerve cells. And when the red stimulus is removed, they will overreact and act as if the opposite color is present instead. Okay, now I'm going to remove the red disc and leave just the neutral gray background on the screen along with the attention focusing cross. What you should see is a pale green or perhaps blue green disc that isn't being emitted by the screen at all, but is instead simply in your visual system an overreaction to the removal of the overstimulating red that you saw before. Next, focus on the blue disc that's on the screen for, again, about 30 seconds, which I will time out for you. What we're going to do this time is put the after image of the blue disc onto a blue background instead of a neutral gray background. And the after image then will cancel out the blue light that is coming from the screen, leaving a hole, leaving an area that will appear more or less white. What's going to happen this time is that the after image of the blue will cancel out actual blue, leaving us with more or less nothing or white. Here we go for that. You should now see a more or less ghostly white disc in the middle of a blue field. And as I said, that white is caused by the cancellation of blue by the after image of the blue disc that we saw before. Now things are going to get more interesting. Focus this time on the cross in the center of the yellow disc. And again, we'll, we'll view the yellow disc for about 30 seconds. If you see hints of blue, again, sneaking around the edges, just ignore those and keep your attention focused on the cross in the middle of the yellow disc. Now we're projecting the after image onto a black background and what we have is a blue color but it's a darker blue than could be produced due to light in the physical world it's a blue as dark as black which would normally be impossible but using this trick we can see such a blue this is a color that i would argue you've probably never seen before Let's do two more. This time, focus on the cross in the middle of the blue disc. This blue disc is going to give us a yellow after image, which we'll project on black, and give us an impossibly dark yellow. So just 
a little bit longer, focus on the black cross, and here we go. It's a yellow or perhaps a gold color that is as dark as black. Now, you might not initially perceive it to be quite as dark as black, but that's because of your long experience with the color yellow. If you stay with it for a while or maybe repeat this section a couple of times, I think you'll come to see that this yellow really is as dark as black. As a final example, focus on the cross inside this light blue disc and what we're going to end up producing is a color orange that is more orange than any actual orange produced by physical light could be. It's an extra orangey orange. Sometimes it's called a hyperbolic orange. Here we go. Did you see the extra orangey disc on top of the orange background? It might have been there only briefly, but notice that the background is entirely orange and yet this disc was somehow even more orangey than that. So playing around with these impossible colors is fun, but what's really the point? It's that subjective experiences like colors follow principles based on known properties of the brain, and by using these principles, we can predict and produce new and surprising subjective experiences. All of this is explained in a very interesting paper by the philosopher Paul Churchland, which I'll put in the credits. We could imagine doing something similar with the sense of smell, maybe wiring up the 350 or so different types of receptors in the olfactory bulb. Maybe then we could produce odors that can't really exist in nature because their features can't actually be combined into stable molecules. All of this strongly suggests that subjective experiences like colors and odors are produced by the physical brain, but how that actually happens remains really deeply mysterious. Let me know in the comments what you think of all this, and if you'd like to learn more about the real mystery of subjective experience, check out this video next.